Hello my Soka universe for finally the unpacking, uh, um, unveiling of the other jerseys that I got from classic football shirts. Quick interruption, uh, when I shot this video I didn't realize that it may come out uh, exactly at Christmas. So the way of Sky schedule is it's uh, coming out directly at Christmas. And yeah, it is kind of fitting because it's an unpacking video from the Black Friday parcel. I'm wearing the other shirt at the moment. However, these are not my uh, Christmas presents, but I thought it is fitting to have it come out here. And a little bit later uh, this week or maybe uh, in the new year, I will show you the shirts that I have gotten for Christmas. As far as I know, they are really, really, really nice. But I also want to use this opportunity to first and foremost wish you, if you are celebrating Christmas, a Merry Christmas. And if not, I want to wish you Happy Holidays. I also would like to um, inform you that I may take in the next two weeks a little bit of step back in producing especially review videos. Uh, you get all the performance uh, videos. Uh, on, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day plus this video I will produce a few top 10 uh, videos that I usually do every year which are of course the top 10 jerseys I got this year, the top 10 uh, jerseys of the year, my personal ones, the top 10 moments of the past year and then I am also planning to do, I'm not sure if it will be a top 10 but you know 10 shirts that I'm looking forward to getting for next year. So Without further for, for ado and not keeping you up a little bit more now, enjoy this unpacking of the Black Friday parcel. What will be in there? Here is the package, it's still open. I took the Atalanta shirt out. Very quickly the story, this is still the Black Friday sale where I was actually waiting. And I made the cal calculation um, together with, you know, import. Black uh, classic football shirts for me was always, yeah, uh, maybe it's not an option anymore because I have to pay import fees. However, if you make the calculations, if you get 20% off and then I have to pay the 20% value added tax, including the shipping here, that could work out. It especially works out if you uh, order for more than 100 pounds and you stay below 150 euros because then you get free shipping a classic football shirts. So I said, whatever I order here, uh, and you saw it already with the, with, with the Atalanta shirt. I may at worst price, play, uh, worst, uh, worst case scenario, I pay a little bit under uh, the nominal price, which I think is a good deal because most of the time, even if I order with 10% off, I use it to offset the shipping and, and, and so on. So it was a deal and it adds classic football shirts back on the table whenever they have a 20 percent sale and i know they have some certain dates where you gotta look out for i think after christmas or new year's there will be another one coming so i have my eyes out for that now if you can tell already by the background what i'm wearing these two shirts and i'll show you two shirts here are of course uh in preparation for the afcon which is one of those tournaments that i really 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 like uh, I think after the Euros is probably my favorite continental tournament and a big appeal there is not only the, uh, the, the exotic nature but of course the jerseys. I love me some African jerseys. It's absolutely great to have a bit of the variety and the colorfulness and especially you know it's green, it's red and it's, it's yellow but you know you see some others there. And um, judging from the background there, I mean, Cameron, I have now three shirts, although this one is my wife's, but you know, I can make an African background. I have 12 African shirts uh, hanging behind me and the 13th one I'm wearing. But I said there is definitely one nation missing. And then they had a really other, really nice shirt of a team that's already there that I just couldn't resist. And the one nation that's missing is also there's one particular shirt that I've been really looking very, very, very hard. And it's from the 2010 Africa Puma range, the one where we have one, two, three, one, two, three, and then this um, Cameron jersey also, uh, where they have on the right side the team symbol. So we have here the elephant for the Cote d'Ivoire, the fennec for Algeria, we have the star for of Morocco and of course the lion uh, for Cameroon. And there was one that I really, really, really wanted to have. And it cost actually quite some. I think I almost paid um, 69 pounds, whatever, 
because this is one that was re relatively hard to find all the time, especially in good con condition. The few times that I could could get it, then I didn't pull the trigger because it has no Africa Cup of Nations coming around. So yeah, I had to pay a little bit more. That's the jersey I'm gonna show you first because it's not the most spectacular. The other one is a whole lot more spectacular. But this is the more the more expensive jersey I pull out first because it's the one that I really, really wanted to have. And yeah, I can show you the color. It is, of course, red. One adventure, I guess. The one nation that you really need is, of course, Egypt. The crest really needs some work for Egypt. And it's, as I said, the 2010 jersey where they won, I think, for the third time in a row, the AFCON. And then uh, they didn't even manage to qualify for, for the World Cup because they played against uh, a very famous playoff against Algeria. It had to be uh, played. Algeria pipped the then best team in Africa. So here's the shirt. And I just, I cannot tell you how much I love the 2010 Africa range for Puma. I really like the Webbit uh, sleeves and then the strikeout zone. And of course we have the Pharaoh Tutankhamun on there. Uh, it was between this and the 2012 shirt. The 2012 is similar to the South Africa shirt. It's just all hieroglyphs all over, which also would have been nice, but I've always been looking at this shirt. The away jersey in gold with red and white and black is also pretty spectacular, I gotta say. But it was always this one. And you see six stars. This is the one that they won the AFCON in. The other thing I love of this uh, Puma Africa range is, of course, that on the back side, uh, the pattering there, it, it looks tribal African. I don't know if it is, but it actually looks really, really nice. And I'm so happy to finally own this Egypt shirt. And Egypt is for me kind of the Germany in Africa. So I was never really that much in support of Egypt, to be honest. But <laughs> they have a pharaoh on here. I mean, this is for me the second best of that range. The best one, and that one is near impossible to find at the moment, is of course the Angola one. With the, not only do they have the, uh, the black, the red, and the yellow stripe going on here, but they also have a huge antelope running almost over the entire sleeve. But the Egypt one, the moment I saw the one, I thought this is pretty spectacular. They're the pharaohs, so they put a pharaoh on it really happy to have that one as i said this is the more expensive one it's not the most spectacular one but i finally have an egypt shirt and i'm really really pleased with that because now i have almost all of northern africa done libya is missing but you know they don't qualify all that often so now having this one the i don't want to say the holy grail of african shirts because there are other ones out there but one that i've been hunting down let's go to the eye candy in a way um one adventure, I guess, which of the teams that are on there, I mean, you don't see all of them. Show you the color. It is yellow. And let's turn it around. It's the 1718 Mali home shirt. I have here the 1920 Mali away. And I know when I got this one, I was always, uh, I, I mean, I knew that the white one looks better, the silver one, grayish one looks better but i always want to have a yellow one too and i also want to have the 17 one because here as we will see the eagle is slightly uh, uh different here is this big swinging of wings and if we look here now it is more of the flag being just plastered across and then the the, the eagle has a little bit more straight wings so I find this also interesting. I think I like it here. Uh, this yellow version I like better because you know you have a little bit more white. They did it for the other I don't too, but here you can really make out the flag a little bit more. It's not as distracting as with the previous one where the yellow got, uh, you know, they made a bright yellow, but it got totally lost and it didn't look so. I think for a yellow jersey for Mali, this is the better one. For the white one, I would claim that this is the better one. But I'm very pleased to have this one. You cannot have enough Airness shirts. So again, Airness. I'm a little bit annoyed that the crest is wrinkly. So I have to iron this out. Now, this seems to be the fan version because the players that didn't have the red collar, but you know, classic football shirts were selling these and they were rather cheap and rather spectacular. I gotta say, and I'm very pleased to pick this up. I loved how the sleeves look. Uh, this is a great shirt. An absolute great, great shirt. And it actually seems to be, a, I have to put it on 
uh, later, but it actually seems to be a little bit looser fitting than this one. This, this, this one, although it's an XL, it's quite tight fitting. So uh, very happy. I also like how they have the flag of Mali in here. And yeah, I mean, the back is rather plain yellow. But yeah, I have only one yellow shirt. South Africa is not at the FCON this year. So I'm quite happy to have another yellow. So I have a little bit color splash. And my pride and joy for Africa is Mali. They have released some of the most spectacular shirts out there. Now, I'll probably be on the lookout for some other shirts that I may add uh, over during the FCON and so on. But I think I'm very well covered with African nations. The obvious one would be the DRC, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. However, they didn't qualify. So there's no immediate need to get a DRC shirt, although uh, they had some. They have some really nice ones, especially one with a leopard on there. Uh, and also would add another color in there because that's the most prominent team that uh, plays in blue. But yeah, I have a very soft spot for African shirts, especially 2010 Puma range, but there are other um, shirts out there that are really, really, really nice. Madagascar last uh, time around, they had really uh, cool shirts and now uh, with Macron, with the antelope color. We, I can talk about African shirts, uh, could make an entire video. I have made a video about all my African shirts. So yeah. In any case, let me know what you thought about the two shirts that I got here. Show you one more time. We have the Egypt Home 2010-11 with uh, the Pharaoh. And we have the Mali Home from 1718. And of course, why is it gold? Because Mali is rich, or at least was. I think it still is very rich in gold, so it's a very fitting color there. So let, let me know what you think about this one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Which African shirts have you got lately? I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.